fun. So in the US today, uh, about 10 to 15 percent of all the energy we use goes to chemical separations. That is, for example, separating the drug compound from the side products and reagents that was used to make it, or it can be separating chemicals from petroleum processing, uh, or removing uh, uh, chemicals from water that we're going to drink. Uh, that is a lot of energy. And a lot of this specific big chunk of energy is spent um, because we use very energy inefficient methods to achieve this, such as distillation and extraction. So the broader goal of this, the long-term goal of our project uh, is to replace these very inefficient methods by a filter, which is much more energy efficient. Um, in fact, for water desalination, um, this kind of transition happened. Initially, to uh, remove salt from water, we used distillation. When we switched to using uh, filters for this purpose, the energy use went down by 90%. So we saved 90% of the energy that, would have, that we would have been using otherwise. Um, our goal here is to increase the number of separations that where we can achieve this kind of energy savings. And to do that, we need to make membranes that can uh, achieve new separations, perform separations that were not possible before. Um, this project was the proof of concept that shows um, we can make these structures that uh, that lead to filters that can perform new separations.